We begin with breaking news right now on the murder trial of Briasia Terrell. And this is 10-year-old Briasia Terrell. Just take a look at that smile for a moment. She was just about to enter fifth grade when she was reported missing in July 2020. Today, Briasia should be in eighth grade, getting ready for that transition to high school and thinking about what she wants to be when she grows up. Briasia should be getting ready to eat lunch with her friends at school. Briasia should be teasing her siblings the way that siblings do. Instead, today, we hear from a Scott County judge who killed Briasia in 2020. And News 8's Nina Burns is at the courthouse right now. You are in that courtroom in an emotional scene, Nina. Incredibly emotional, David. Now, the biggest question coming in today was if the circumstantial evidence provided by the state was enough. As defense attorney Chad Free said during closing arguments, this isn't a who done it, this is a who proved it. Well, today, Judge Latham decided the state did exactly that. Latham walked through the evidence presented over this entire trial, starting from Briasia's connection to Dinkins to the moment they discovered her remains. He pointed out the court is allowed to use common sense. While no evidence placed Briasia in that maroon Impala, Judge Latham used his common sense to decide beyond unreasonable doubt that was the case. An important aspect to note is that throughout this entire trial, the defense has relentlessly gone after Briasia's younger brother, DL, and his reliability. Judge Latham addressed that, saying DL was a key part of this investigation. It should be noted all of these investigative efforts would not have been fruitful had it not been for the information provided by DL. DL was instrumental in solving the murder and kidnapping of his sister, Briasia. The court specifically finds the defendant was not savvy in any manner. The defendant did not account for the statements and testimony of DL and that of Jared Brink. The evidence provided by these two witnesses clearly and all the other witnesses undermined every effort which the defendant may have taken to be savvy or calculated in his actions to avoid being charged and prosecuted for the kidnapping and murder of Briasia. Judge Latham went on to say that he found every single one of the witnesses the state brought forward credible. The only statement he found not credible was DL's statement that he saw Dinkins shoot Briasia. But it's important to note that Latham also said for an eight-year-old boy to sit down and give so much valid information to a police department was remarkable. Now, these have been a long few weeks, but it ends with justice being served. In Davenport, Nina Burns, WQAD News 8. And that was the reaction outside the courthouse just moments after the verdict. Loved ones of Briasia Terrell walking out cheering, holding balloons while wearing shirts with a photo of her. Her mother says the situation has been emotional leading up to today's decision. So happy. I was nervous, but I'm happy. I'm real happy. It still doesn't, it doesn't bring her back. It doesn't, not by a long shot, but I mean, I, at least I can start the hard part for the most Go part. Go back to hell from where you come Exactly from. starting my journey as far as, you know, getting myself together mentally and, you know, getting That's my son good. back together, which I can't wait to go see him. She went on to give credit to her son for his testimony during the case. Mother also says Briasia can now rest in peace. And you can watch the full verdict for yourself right now on our website, wqad.com. We do turn.